So this is my homemade tricycle I built many years ago and I've converted it over to electric with the 20 inch wheel but it only has throttle no pedal assist so I'm gonna add pedal assist to it this has the old one-piece cranks the old school and I'm gonna try to put pedal assist sensor on there so I'm gonna try to add this style a pedal assist sensor which is made for a three-piece crank. So the first thing I did is took the pedal off and I got to get this to fit over this and it doesn't so I'm gonna have to make the hole bigger so it'll come down and fit on here. So I'm gonna figure out what size the hole needs to be. Take these calipers and measure it. So I gotta find how to drill a center out of this circle here. So here's my idea. So I lined up the magnets with the lines, and that should be dead center there. Now I'll just have to take a drill bit and drill right dead center. It can be off a little bit. It doesn't have to be super exact. Okay, so what I did is I found the dead center of this, and I'm just going to have to find a way to clamp it down to the board so it won't walk when we drill a hole through it. I took these little pieces of wood drill some holes in them. Just now I just got to line it up. Okay, so I got it lined up pretty good. There, now it's solid in there and won't move when I go to drill the hole through it. Let's see if I got it lined up here. Pretty well centered. Okay, let's try it out here. It's 
Got to line it up and hopefully there's enough room for the sensor to fit. Okay, it's going to have to be modified because it this it can't this is going to turn so it can't be can't be latched to it. So I'm going to have to modify it to get it on there over the So if I end up using this bracket, I'm going to have to take away this material. Here's the trim down version of the sensor mounting plate. Okay, so the sensor won't fit in there. I'm going to have to make some spacers to space this out a little bit. Okay, so I just tacked welded it on there in one spot. You can see how this moves around and doesn't clash or hit with it. And I can get to the mounting screw in the back take it off and on. Now this won't make the crank very serviceable. You'll have to cut this off with a cutoff tool and re put it back on if you ever have to service the crank. But that shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, so you can see the space is really close. I may have to make another spacer washer to but it's really close. I think it might be alright. So I found this nylon washer at the hardware store for a couple dollars and it's a little, little better thickness than what I had before. So I use this little glue gun to temporarily just tack this in to see if it's going to be true when it turns before I set it up permanent. And it looks pretty good. Okay, so I got it mounted on there. I'm using just using RTV, just silicone. You hold that on there. It's pretty. It's pretty rigid. It's very rigid actually. And uh, you can see it's lined up pretty good. I can always shim the sensor if I need to. Shim it out. But it all works really well. Okay, so I got it working. Works pretty good. I still have a throttle. Now I have a display. I got it set in pedal assist one. So now when I start to crank the drive wheel, this wheel will start to go. About three mile an hour in pedal assist one. I can bump it up to pedal assist up to five. Start cranking again. really well 10.9 mile an hour to pedal assist 5 which is pretty good for a tricycle if you ever want to go faster you can just pedal faster but that's it so if you're interested in building your own recumbent tricycle I'll add a link to my uh, video that I showed how I built it thanks for watching